Hello friends, I'm so glad that you can join the Wiggly Wormy Book Club story time. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a fun reading adventure. Today we're going to visit our silly and fun friend, Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia sleeps over. This is Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia was excited. Tonight was her very first sleepover. All the girls in her class were going to Rosa's house for a slumber party. Amelia Bedelia and her mother drove to Rosa's house. Is a slumber party fun? asked Amelia Bedelia, because sleeping is boring. You might not sleep much, said her mother. You will play, eat pizza, paint nails. Do we paint the nails and then hammer them? asked Amelia Bedelia, or do we hammer them first? Amelia Bedelia's mother laughed. You'll have fun, sweetie, she said. I promise. When Amelia Bedelia arrived, the front door swung open. Her friends ran out to greet her. Rose's mother came outside too. Look how excited her friends are welcoming her. Good luck, said Amelia Bedelia's mom. I think I'll need it, said Rose's mother. I'm a light sleeper. Me too, said Amelia Bedelia. She reached into her backpack and pulled out her flashlight. I sleep with this light every night. The girls played board games. Amelia Bedelia had worried that she would be bored, but she was not. Next, everyone went outside and played tag until the sun began to set. The pizza is here, called Rose's father. Come out and get it. And for dessert, said Rose's mother, we will toast marshmallows and make s'mores. Yum. Won't that wreck your toaster? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Marshmallows melt into gooey, blobby. Rose's father laughed. We'll toast them on the grill, he said. After the pizza was gone, Don speared a marshmallow in Amelia Bedelia's stick. Holly showed her how to turn it and carefully and slowly to get a crunchy brown skin. Amelia Bedelia put her marshmallow on top of a chocolate bar between two graham crackers. Yum, said Amelia Bedelia. I like some more, please. Now you know why they're called s'mores, said Rose. After many more s'mores, the girls went inside the house. They put on their pajamas, but it was not time to slumber yet. Rose brought out bottles of glittery nail polish in more colors than the rainbow. Every color had the perfect name. Heather painted Amelia Bedelia's nails with shamrock green on her left hand, blue iceberg on her right hand, and banana sunrise on her right foot. She saved her left foot for a cotton candy cupcake. Amelia Bedelia sighed and said, I'm so happy we don't have to hammer them. Too soon, the clock struck 10. Bedtime, girls, said Rose's mother. Lights out and no giggling aloud. Oh, well, thought Amelia Bedelia. Here comes the slumber part of the slumber party. Off went the lights and lamps. On went Amelia Bedelia's flashlight. She showed her friends how to make shadow puppets on the wall. One by one, the girls fell asleep, all except Amelia Bedelia. She was not one bit sleepy. She made a rabbit. Then a barking dog, then an elephant with a trunk to grab. Oops, her flashlight went out. Oh no, said Amelia Bedelia. What light would keep her company now? Then Amelia Bedelia noticed a very bright light peeking into the family room. She pulled back the curtains, a full moon shone down on her. Now there was too much light. Amelia Bedelia dragged her sleeping bag under Rose's ping pong table. Perfect, thought Amelia Bedelia. Now I'm having a sleepover and a sleep under. Silly Amelia. Amelia Bedelia snuggled down into her cozy sleeping bag. She gazed up at the moon. She had heard people say that there was a man in the moon. She'd never seen him until tonight. He looked just like her dad. Amelia Bedelia closed her eyes. A second later, she was sound asleep. The next morning, the girls had a pillow fight. Then they made chocolate chip pancakes and helped to clean up the mess. 
Amelia Bedelia's dad picked her up. Nice nails, said her father. Thanks, Moon Man, said Amelia Bedelia. Huh? said her father. You sound like you need to take a nap. And so Amelia Bedelia did all the way home. Hope you enjoyed today's story. Thank you for reading with me. You're amazing. Before we go, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.